Some of the biggest names in Oklahoma politics, from those on the city level to the top leaders of the state and lawmakers in Washington, D.C. All of them on our 9 a.m. newscast answering questions that matter most to our viewers. Beginning the year, the big recreational marijuana vote fails. House Speaker Charles McCall talked next steps. I thought it would be a much closer um, decision than it actually turned out to be. Uh, we'll continue to work through medical marijuana in the state. That is still the law here in the state. The state is catching up on its regulatory framework. Um, we've really been focusing the last couple of years on cracking down on illegal grows across the state of Oklahoma. And so we'll continue to move forward uh, with the law that we have. And there'll be several bills, I think, advanced this session as well, addressing medical marijuana. President Joe Biden delivered a message of unity during his State of the Union address in February. The next day, U.S. Congressman Tom Cole and Frank Lucas live on our show sharing their reactions. If they want to work with us, there's a lot of great things that could be done that would make a difference. But you got to work with us. Now he's going to have to work with Republicans. He hasn't had to do that before. Uh, so uh, we'll see if he's up to the task. We also saw this year a special legislative session called by Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt to address taxes. The governor talked to us about his goals. We have to be strategic. There's not an unlimited supply of money. And, and I know that inflation is hurting everyday Oklahomans. You hear me talk about, hey, the grocery tax is an easy one to get rid of because, man, Republicans, and, and, and I always want to do the right thing for Oklahoma. And you talk about doing the right thing for struggling families, and that's to relieve some of the grocery tax. So again, I keep pushing. If the legislature, uh, you know, the Oklahomans will have to uh, put pressure and, and vote the right people into office if they refuse to do it. Uh, my job is just to continue to tell the truth to Oklahomans, and that's what I'm going to do. A special election for a $900 million arena in Oklahoma City. Mayor David Holden's studio back in September, fairly optimistic. I think it's been a very positive conversation. I like the direction of it right now. Plus, a brief change in state leadership this year. Both Governor Kevin Stitt and Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell out of state when tornadoes tore through eastern Oklahoma. Senator Pro Tem Greg Treat learned he was acting governor days later. I don't think there was anything nefarious. I just think it was an oversight. Obviously, no one knew we were going to have the, the storm, uh, but the communication needs to improve. And as 2023 comes to a close, we look ahead to education here in our state. Superintendent Ryan Walters proposed new accreditation guidelines. The state's top education leader joined us to roll out his expectations. The reality is what we're going to do is provide accountability to ensure that all of our schools are doing all that they can to turn around. Here's to talking to more newsmakers and community leaders in 2023.